Hello YouTube, it's Duncan here from Big Toe Spell again and as promised in yesterday's video on securing your car outside um, I'm just going to follow up with a video on some advice on driveway security this is a topic which is becoming more and more prevalent we see quite a lot of uh, increases in car thefts um, the police generally don't have the time to investigate them so the onus becomes on the householder to make sure that their driveway is secure and make it as difficult as possible for thieves to take uh, take their cars there's a few different aspects which I'm going to talk about today. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about CCTV uh, and also some of the physical barriers as well uh, to protect your car. So I think the first thing we'll talk about um, is the bollards that I have on the front of this drive. So as you can see there are four security bollards installed across the front of my driveway. Um, they've been carefully measured out to make sure that there's not enough space between each of them to get a car through. So if you're designing your driveway make sure that you know the width of your car uh, and you've got adequate bollards and it's quite often you see there's a bigger space between them than the width of a car uh, which is something to be aware of you'll notice on these bollards that I have installed reflective tape across them and that's just to make sure that anyone doing a turn in the road will hopefully see them before they collide with them and cause damage uh, either to their car or more importantly to my bollards so I definitely recommend um, putting that on if you're uh, have a similar situation where your driveway is. These particular bollards are uh, manufactured by Rampost and you can buy from Rampost directly or there are plenty of other suppliers of where you can get them. The operation of the bollards is very straightforward. You simply remove the cover and they have a key in them which you can just pop in which releases this button and it's just a gentle lift, a twist and a drop. To secure, you twist and just simply push the button back in. When you order your security posts, you can get them all keyed to have the same key, which makes it much easier to when you're working them, you don't have to find the right key. It's really important when raising or lowering the bollards that you don't just drop them into the holes. You need to make sure you lower them and carefully raise them. The bollards that I've installed are probably a little bit larger than you need. Um, as always, I've over-purchased and over-engineered it. It also means they're quite heavy. You can get electrically operated bollards as well. These need to be wired directly into your electrical panel, uh, which isn't always very practical. They're also horrendously expensive, um, but offer a good solution as well. dealing with your contractor who's installing your driveway and putting the bollards in make sure they install them to the manufacturer specifications with adequate drainage otherwise you'll have water build up at the bottom of them um, and it will just affect their longevity as you can see my driveway shared with my neighbors um, and I've seen examples of where people put bollards at the end of their drive um, but they still have a shared drive and so you can just drive the car around the bollards if you've got a shared drive where you've really got two options one is that you put your bollard uh, right up close to where your car is going to be parked so it can't move forwards or backwards. Um, the solution that I came up with was to install these steel barriers which you often see at car dealerships. They are completely removable. You can see that they have a key here and you can undo that and just lift them out if you don't want them in. Uh, and again I've made sure that I had the spacing on the two of them um, so that no car could be turned around on the drive and then driven between the gaps which is also why we have the steel bollard at the end there as well. With the security barriers, these are again keyed the same as the bollards, so you can just use the one set of keys uh, and they just unlock from the bottom and can be lifted out as required. Like so.
You probably wouldn't want to be lifting those security barbs out on a regular basis, but to know that you can put your driveway back to how it was if you didn't have anything that you were particularly worried about or if you needed the access uh, is good to know. And I'm sure that will be appreciated by anyone who uh, took the house in the future, that they could take them out because they aren't the prettiest things in the world, uh, but they do serve a very useful purpose. Having a fence installed is a great alternative to having to put in more expensive security measures. Just having your wood panelling with your concrete posts uh, and your concrete gravel boards at the bottom is adequate to keep your car secure. Also on the driveway, you'll notice that it is monitored by CCTV. You can see this is a vandal proof camera. It's not as high up as it should be, they should really be out of hand height, but the design of the house restricts it. But you don't want them too high up, otherwise you'll just film the tops of people's heads and you won't actually get a good view uh, of the driveway. Uh, and I'll quickly show you a screenshot now of what the, uh, the view from that camera looks like across the drive. Behind me up on the wall you can see that I've also got another security camera watching the side of the house. All of these security cameras go into a central location uh, in the loft uh, where all the um, recordings are stored for two weeks. I think this is much better than having it on, on the cloud, you don't have to pay any subscriptions and keeping it in the loft keeps it out of harm's way as well. You can access that all on the phone um, so you can see the videos there or you can go up into the loft and uh, extract them that way. Obviously the house also has an alarm installed, so if you have an alarm system uh, linked to the police is a great idea. Um, the other thing that's worth looking at is the Faraday cages or coverings for your um, keys so that people can't pick up on the signals and copy them. So if you've got your keys kept safely and securely away uh, and with all the other security, hopefully it'll be a, a big deterrent for thieves or anyone looking to take or damage your, your vehicle in your driveway. <laughs> Oh, my God.